What is going on guys, I'm the Mahano and today's video is going to be another gaming PC build. My last video about a gaming PC build did really, really well. You guys seem to enjoy it. I gained a few subscribers and I went up a hell of a lot in views and I got a few likes. So I'm going to be doing a lot more gaming PC builds in the future. And this is another gaming PC build. But today's gaming PC build is a Fallout 4 potentially ready gaming rig. The reason why I say potentially ready is because you know Bethesda hasn't released the Fallout 4 specifications just yet so we don't know exactly what you know what specifications are needed for you know the ultra and you know minimum settings so we're just gonna go off what we know about you know latest games right now and this you know this rig will definitely be able to run all the latest games at higher settings and most of them at ultra settings and probably even all of them are ultra if you turn down a few settings so it is a pretty beast of a rig the rig cost 661 pounds in the UK and it might cost a little bit cheaper in the US so first of all let's start with the motherboard for the motherboard we are using a gigabyte GA B85M DS3H micro ATX motherboard you know it's 48 pounds 74 it's you know it's it's a good beginners build uh, motherboard it ain't too fancy not got all the you know the best thing but it does have a few IOs so let's look at the IOs we got two USB 3.0 ports four USB 2.0 ports obviously the HD audio uh, we got a HDMI cable the Ethernet um, the Ethernet uh, port, a VGA port, and a Display port. So you know it's got everything you need. It's got uh, four, you know, RAM slots. DDR3, 30. The maximum memory is 32 gigabytes. It doesn't support SLI, so you will not be able to put two graphics card in it. But that's not a problem. It has two SATA three gigabytes per second and four SATA six gigabytes per second. So it is a pretty decent motherboard and at CCL it's £48.74 so you know you can't really go wrong there. For the processor we are using an Intel Core i5-4690K 3.5GHz quad core processor. For this processor a lot of people use it you know the i5-4690K is a beast it's good, over, it's good for overclocking it's it runs games it's good for running games it works well with the graphics card it is a brilliant processor to use it is a hundred and seventy eight pound right now at amazon.co.uk and it might be cheaper in the US so you know if you're in the US even better it's clocked at 3.5 gigahertz it's got quad core it uses 88 watts and it doesn't support hyper threading so you know it's it's still a brilliant processor but it doesn't support hyper threading uh, it will be able to run you know it, it will it will work well with your it, it will work well with your build you know you might want to upgrade to an i7 it, it gives you the ability to upgrade to an i7 if you have the money to it and you don't even need to buy the i5 you can probably get an i7 if you got you know got enough money so let's go for the RAM. The RAM we're going to be using the Kingston Black Fury Black Series. A lot of people use it. It's a decent, you know, decent RAM. It, it's two times four gigabytes, so eight gigabytes in total. It's DDR3, but the clock speed is 1866. The usual RAM is about 1600. So you know, this this RAM is going to be a bit faster than you know what you would call usual RAM. It's does include a heat spreader on the RAM and it's you know two two times four gigabytes which will include dual a dual channel memory configuration which means the RAM runs even faster so the price of this RAM is for 44 pounds 63 at amazon.co.uk and yeah let's go to the graphics card so for the graphics card we are going to be going with an EVGA GeForce GTX 970. It's got four gigabytes um, of DDR5 memory in it. It would the the addition we're using is a superclocked ACX 2.0 edition, 
which basically means you can overclock it a bit more. It's obviously got 4 gigs of DDR5. It's clocked at 1.17 gigahertz. So, you know, even if you over you don't even need to overclock it. It uses 145 watts. And if you do get a new motherboard, it will support three-way SLI. The length is two, 241 millimeters, which means it will be able to, you know, your case will be able to fill it easy. It also supports G-Sync, so if you've got a G-Sync monitor, you know, well, what can you say there? The port, that's at the output ports, we're going to be using a, well, there's going to be a DVI-D dual link port. There's a DVI-I. There's a display port and there's a HDMI port, so you know you 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 be able to run four monitors on it, I guess three mon three monitors and not really have any lag. The price of this graphics card is two hundred and sixty eight pounds, and this is an Aria PC in the UK. Or if you want to go for a better, you know, a normal retailer, one that everyone knows is Amazon.co.uk, which is a pound more, which is two two is two hundred and sixty sixty nine pounds. So a pound more, and you you know free delivery, I guess stuff like that. I don't know if there is free delivery, maybe. Um, right, let's go down to the hard drive. We're not going to be using an SSD today. We're going to be using a Western Digital Caviar Blue one terabyte hard internal hard drive. It has a 7,200 writes per minute speed. It's got 64 megabytes of cache, and it's a 3.5 inch form factor. So there's not really much you can say about it. It's going to be fast. You don't need an SSD, and it's going to be you know it's pretty cheap. So store a lot of games one terabyte is quite a lot it's pretty much standard for any gaming rig at the moment so for to, to buy this it is 41 pound 64 at amazon.co.uk um, yeah for the case we're gonna be going for the NZ XT source 210 black is a black ATX mid tower case and it is pretty cheap it is a it is going to be black it's got three 5.25 inch bays and eight 3.5 inch bays so you can fit eight, eight hard drives in it and um, you could probably put some you know put some SSDs somewhere in it it's the dimensions of it is is well you know the, the maximum video card length is 230 millimeters with drive cages or 330 millimeters without drive cages, so you will have, you might have to take out a few drive cages to be able to use the the graphics card in it, but that's not a problem. The price of this is 33 pounds 72 at Scan UK, so you know it's really it's a quite cheap case. You know we didn't really want to go anything too fancy. The look of the case though is it's really nice. It's quite plain, but it it does look really really nice. It doesn't have a side side panel. Like a mirrored side panel, so it isn't going to be bad. Um, but yeah, that's that's it about the case. Now we're going to go for the power supply. For the power supply, we're going to be using a Corsair Builder 500 watts certified. It's a 80 plus bronze certified power supply. Fits in the ATX case, no problem. Obviously, it's 500 watts, so you know you it will help you in, if you upgrade to like you know I don't know a better graphics card like a 980. You might have to upgrade if you want to go anything higher, and maybe even an i7, but you know, it will be able to run, it's decent, it's pretty cheap, it's a non-modular case, so you know, you're stuck with all the wires, but that's not really a problem for the cheap price, it's £46, <coughs> uh, sorry, it's £46.86 at Aria PC, so you know, it's, it's a pretty cheap, all in all, this PC will be able to run Fallout 4, you know, higher to max settings, it will run most other games at ultra settings, if not high settings. So it is a pretty decent PC, and at £661, you know, it's a bit, it is a bit high, but you know, it is, you know, it's a good, how can I say this? It's a good PC build for what we know. Anyway guys, I'm the Hannah. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And please leave a comment on what other games and builds you want me to cover. You know, give me a price range, give me 
you know, like what games you like to play, and I'll do some breaks around that. Thanks for watching this video, and goodbye.